Hi all, Dave here from Rack Nerd, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Invoice Ninja on your Rack Nerd VPS. Now Invoice Ninja is a great tool to manage all your invoicing and customers. Um, it's got some great functionality and I'm going to show you how to install it. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is log into our VPS. So we're going to do that now. Once logged in, we need to head over to our GitHub page. Now once there, we need to click on Invoice Ninja Prereq. And then we need to click on prereq-setup.sh, click on raw, and we need to copy this file. Now we've copied that, we need to run wget and then paste the link that we just copied. Now that's done, we need to run the script. So we'll go sudo bash prereq-setup.sh. It's going to ask you to wait. And then it's going to go through the installation process. This can take up to um, five to 10 minutes to happen, so just be patient. Now at this point, it's gonna ask you to hit enter, just hit enter. Okay, now we're at the SQL setup, so we're just gonna go yes, and do we wanna set a root password? So we'll say yes, we'll put in a root password here, and we'll put it in again. And we want to say yes to this, yes to this, yes to this, yes to this, and we're done. Okay, now we're done, we need to log into our SQL, and then we need to create the database. So we're just going to head over to our GitHub page, copy these commands, and paste them in here. Go to the next command, and the username is going to be ninja, we just need to change this password here. So we'll do that. I'll probably set it to a simple password. This is my password. And then hit enter. Then we'll head back over to our GitHub page and we'll copy this command. So we're granting all the privileges to that database. Now we just need to flush the privileges and exit. Now we need to create a Apache file. So we're just going to head back over, copy this line here and paste it in. And then we just need to create the virtual host file. So we'll copy a pre done one here and note the server name at the top. You will need to change this to um, where you have your installation set. But we have it at invoice.racknerddemo.com. So we'll continue with that. We'll save it and close it. Now we just need to enable it in Apache. So we'll paste these commands in and we'll restart Apache. Okay, now that's done, we'll head over to our browser and go to invoice.racknerddemo.com. It'll bring us to this page. We're not gonna worry about the HTTPS just yet. Um, we'll do that a bit later. For the database, we did invoice ninja, so we need to change that. And we need to put in our password that we set, which uh, I put, this is my password. Okay, and we'll test the connection. And it's working with the email settings we're not going to worry about this too much but they're just um, settings that we can set later so we'll scroll down and we'll put in my name last name put in an email address and we'll put in a password and we will agree to the terms of service and the privacy policy and submit so we'll put in our email address that we just put in the previous screen and our password And now we're fully logged in. So you got your client section here. We can create all your clients. And you've got your product section where you can create products. And of course your invoices. Now we want to set up HTTPS. So we're going to click on settings down here. Scroll right down to the bottom and hit system settings. And this is the box we need to tick. But before we do that, we need to head back over to GitHub and copy this command. It's a cert bot command. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to paste it in here. And then we're going to change the relevant options here. So for this, we're going to change it to invoice.racknerddemo.com. And then for our email, we're going to change it to my email. Obviously, use your email. Okay, dave at racknerddemo.com. And we're going to hit enter. And it'll go off. And we're going to say no to this and wait for it to do its thing. 
Okay, that's done. We can head back to our website here and we can now click the require HTTPS and we change it also in the URL and we go down to save. Note that you can also update your email settings here at a later date. Now, it will get stuck and it may even come up with an error, but that's fine. We just need to reload the page and we need to delete the update setup and hit enter. As you can see, we have a secure Let's Encrypt certificate. So there you have it, a really simple and easy way to install Invoice Ninja on your RackNerd VPS. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it and have a great day.